A lot of humidity today. You're going to notice that when you step out the door, we're still dealing with the clouds. But behind this front, we have our first shot at some drier air. And then we're going to have another reinforcement front that moves in on Friday, keeping that cold air in place all the way through the weekend. High pressure building again. We're talking beautiful weather for South Florida. And we are looking at sunshine making returns to the forecast. So the sun will make it feel really nice when we're waking up to temperatures like this. So take a look. Temperatures when you head out the door Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning, Ranging in the mid 40s, low 50s, well below our average for this time of the year impact weather because again, it is one of our first big cold fronts of the season that will really help put a dent in those temperatures. Here's a look at our Sandy Tree Cam. Some business getting done there. Temperatures in the low 80s, feels like temperatures around 84 degrees. We are dealing with some very warm southerly winds ahead of this frontal boundary. Winds out of the southwest there at around 10 miles per hour. Humidity still up at around 69%. So here's our cold front still. We have a lot of that rainfall, especially on the western half of the state. Some couple light showers that we're looking at heading into Okeechobee County, moving from west to east there. So Okeechobee, get ready for a drum, light rainfall. And then we have some light shower activity from Tequesta down into Jupiter Farms, Jupiter to Palm Beach Gardens, Juno Beach, also moving offshore. Some light rain near Wellington and also near Palm Beach Farms, all the way down towards Olympia. So we're going to keep seeing this on and off activity as we head throughout the day today. We're not really anticipating much in the way of strong thunderstorm activity, but a good downpour or two can't be ruled out. You can see the intensity, the heavier rain set on the west western half of the state and it will eventually move over the lake and head into our area. So we're going to be tracking that for you as we head throughout the first half of the afternoon and into the early evening. Future wind gusts heading into your Thursday. Well, we are looking at those winds picking up, gusting anywhere close to 30 miles per hour at max. And then as we head throughout the evening, winds reciting just a little bit, but it will be one of the breezier days of this upcoming week. Now take a look. We have our future track showing all that moisture associated with its frontal boundary moving off towards the east. That first batch of cool air moving and in late Thursday and heading into your Friday, you're really going to feel it. Another reinforcement front Friday that'll help trap that cold air, as I mentioned, all the way through the weekend. Take a look Friday morning temperatures around 6 a.m., mid 40s, low 40s, mid to low 50s down the Palm Beaches, Belle Glade, right around 50, Okeechobee, right around 45 degrees, some of the coldest air we've seen since April. Take a look, beach and boating today, isolated showers in the forecast, southwest wind 10 to 15, rip current risk at a moderate level. So again, winds not too bad right now, but we could see the occasional gusts a little stronger heading into your Thursday. Temperatures overnight to tomorrow morning. Look for those upper 50s across the Treasure Coast. Vero Beach 59, low 60s there across the northern Palm Beach County area. Mid 60s from central Palm Beach County all the way down into South County. So a little bit cooler for the Treasure Coast in Okeechobee County. Here's a look at that seven day forecast certified the most accurate here in South Florida. Low 80s today. Temperatures tumbling down only into the mid to low 70s for your Thursday. About a 20 degree temperature difference there Friday morning and afternoon as you head out the door. Impact weather because of that cold air sticking around. Upper 40s Saturday, low 50s, mid 40s Sunday morning, and then back into the 70s by the afternoon.